Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper in Corner. This is going to be, by the way, the final match. So whoever advances here advances overall. Adame, given the very manner, good luck, have fun, to Art of Turtle. Art of Turtle is the purple Zerg upper left hand corner, bottom left hand corner. He's the very stylish, I want to say like sea green. I'm not sure what to call that color green, but kind of the darker green. The darker green. The darker green. Bottom left hand corner. Special thanks to Zach DeRoach subscribing on Twitch. So we have uh, old schooler Nooks, aka Sony, and he was mentioning like, oh, we should have OP, I w I'm in OP CPO on Battle.net when I'm around casting these things, because again, I tried to participate in the last, did not do that well for with CPL. But uh, he was saying, you know, we should get another OP channel together, kind of like Team Liquid or X17 for all of their faults. It was kind of like a central place, right? I was saying, you know, I feel like Discord's really filling in that that role now. And if you go to the community re resource list on GitHub that I put together, by the way, uh, bug lucky fool, and I need to get rid of that because I got rid of the wrong thing. Whoop. There we go. Uh, <laughs> if you bug lucky fool uh, or me, uh, I'm a little bit less responsive than lucky fool is. You can have that community resource list updated, but it has a listing of the Discord. Gateway first opening, by the way, versus Zerg on the two-player map. I, I almost feel like, I'm not going to say this is figured out, but I have rarely seen a Protoss win these days when they are going for the gateway first opening. I'm just going to comment on that. We have seen, we are seeing an overpool opposite corner. Anyway, really feel like I've seen four separate communities that are of particular note. There's no Hunters Free For All where they're doing the UMS stuff. They're doing a lot of the fun stuff. They're being kind of the lighter side of the community. So if you just want to play fun games, chill, take it a bit easy, go there. And that's, I'm assuming, most of my audience. They're, like, you know, no rush 20, stuff like that. You'll probably find people to do that with you there, and they won't judge you for it, uh, anything like that. Then there's, like, I feel like Jayun's community, which is very educational. They're very, like, analytical. They're playing to get better. Gypsy, I feel like, is in that space. Crossy's in that space. Hawk's in that space. Really, really top U.S. American players all over there, and it's very tutorial. Hazley hangs out there. Then there is 80s Mullet, which is kind of the more, <laughs> I like to say it, but bro-ish, uh, old-school commentator guys. Um... Fun guys uh, out there. That's you know G5, 80s mullet, Art of Turtle, people I've mentioned. Raz actually hangs out there, and then there's CPL. And CPL, it's kind of like all of the people have had mixed, really mixed experiences with CPL. And I feel like CPL's actually been better overall. Wonder if Adame is actually sneaking this probe scout at the. Are we going to see proxy tech? It's kind of odd versus Zerg, or if he's just going to try to sneak in past the Zerglings to get a scout. We do see a hatchery being taken after this and a drone, interestingly enough, being moved. So yeah, I think what that might be is, ooh, managed to get a, I'm not sure if that was a misfire. Was that a misfire? Looking to see if the drone actually got the kill there. But how did that Zergling die? I don't see a kill marked on anybody. Zergling exploded though, just spontaneously, I guess. That's what happens to Zerglings. They spontaneously explode. <laughs> Gas up. Adame is going to get the good scout on Art of Turtle. Art of Turtle thinking about taking that one o'clock and then thinking better of it. So he was saving up the minerals to do so, but instead opting to stick and pull back. Maybe because he's seeing the two zealots moving across because he did not have the drone scout moving in to see that on time. This is going to be, oof. Yeah, he, that's one critical thing. This is only one gateway worth of zealots, but that might be enough against these zero zerglings and zero sunken colonies on the opposite edge of the map. So I think that was a wise cancellation to have the minerals to defend against this. And is this going to cost a sunk colony or is it just going to be pure zerglings? That's the next question. Okay, there's eight zerglings. Eight zerglings are out on the field. Zealots making their way. Ten zerglings. Ten zerglings overall. No sunken colony yet. And I think that this might be the perfect response. Is he going to get the surround on these alts is the next question. Because keep in mind, when you produce stuff as zerg, you want to do something with it. Because that's larva you spent not on something that was either, you know... You, yeah, you need to spend your larva well. That's the big resource for Zerg, right? Larva. Anyway, Art of Turtle, instead opting to build that hatchery on his front door, provide a little bit of SimCity against this, is trying to hunt down those zealots, maybe get some good surround. Might get so... Yeah, I think he's going to get it here. Is he going to get one zealot? Does get one zealot. Might get the rest of them as well. Zealots making their way across, and I think these zealots are not long for life. Good micro on his part. He is going to have speed upgrade in a moment, which is going to make life even harder for Adame. Even harder. And, oh, these poor zealots trying to make their way across the map. Maybe to try to get a scout. But I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, so... Yeah, so not only are they not going to get a scout... Oh, I think he did get to see that hatchery on the front door, which is going to provide a bit of information. But that's 300 minerals for... I don't think they even got that many zerglings, to be honest. Well played by Art of Turtle. 
And this front door is open. We do see a Corsair that's going to be able to sneak its way out. Lair is about halfway across. I see the Hydro Stent just being planted, so that's one Overlord that's going to be wiped out. So there's something for Adame to try to provide some recovery. But this is also Zerglings inside of his base. No cannons to defend this. Art of Turtle is just... Yeah, he's in a commanding position, i got to feel like. Might lose some Zerglings to this Dragoon. But these are also units that are going to have to sit back and defend. Second Corsair built. So, okay, this is what it's going to come down to. Can Adame sneak out there, get some overlords before there's any sort of air defense. There's one Hydralisks. That still is not going to be enough to fight off two Corsair. And what about the micro inside the base? Is Adame going to be able to fight off those Zerglings? Starting to block the ramp so no additional units can come through, but this, and also building his tech to the corner, so he's going for some sort of Dark Templar sneak thing. It looks like some Hydralisks trying to defend the overlords there at the main. There are, there, oof, there are exposed overlords here, so that's additional resources that are going to be tanked from Art of Turtle. So Domini is not out of this yet. Hydralisks moving their way forward. An additional Hydralisk being pumped. And in the meantime, it looks like while there was that distraction happening, the Zerglings getting cleaned out of the main, they're not able to kill that Dragoon. So actually, the Dragoon stays alive, the Zealot stays alive. Nice cleanup from Adame using the kind of that distractionary attack. Also ma maintains his Corsairs. He's got, looks like a kill apiece. So 200 minerals there. So overall win on his part. So he keeps his Corsairs. He got all the scouting information. He was able to force Arda Turtle into a more defensive position. He's significantly delayed on his natural expansion. But considering everything that happened there, considering everything that happened, I thought that Art of Turtle might be able to just walk away with this. So, really well played. You can see he's just been pumping probes in the meantime, keeping that oversaturated. So as soon as that natural expansion's up, he's able to transfer those probes. A Dark Templar is going to move out in the field, and that in combination with the Corsair, which, oops, I think I missed a Corsair. Got an additional kill, but I think one of them got wiped out uh, from one of these Hydralisks in the meantime. Speed is being upgraded. Additional Zerglings being planted, and Art of Turtle now moving forward maybe to get some sort of contain. That is four cannons. So Adame dedicated now to more defensive play. That Dark Templar should be able to do work against these Hydralisks, because there's no Overlord anywhere near this. Yeah, not even close. So might lose some units for free. Still only one gateway, though, for Adame, and that is going to be critical, because one thing you do need... If you're keeping that larva count low, is bulk, bulk. Dark Templar sneaking through, thinking between that and the Corsair might be able to get some damage done. Art of Turtle just walking into that cannon line. Oh, is he going to go for it? No, I think he's just having trouble controlling his units there and losing a lot of units for free. The Corsair positioning here on the front, their Overlord speeds kicked in, but critically, this Dark Templar might be able to sneak back across. Oh no, never mind. Art of Turtle doing a good job keeping Overlords and that Sentinel Colony out on the front, and now he has got the beginnings of a Katane. Dark Templar, is he going to be able to go through? Does... Ah, uh, one health! Sneaks through! Might be able to get drone kills. Might be able to get some drone kills. Got one. So, already worth it. No Overlord here. And that's also going to disrupt mining time for Art of Turtle. Three kills before he dies. Telling you, those Dark Templar. Those Dark Templar. Overlords also, while that distraction was happening, getting wiped out on the front, and all of a sudden, Adame. <laughs> wow. And that, yep, goes to show. Goes to show, anything can happen in Brood War. So now Arter Turtle, despite really having a commanding position in the early game, had a bunch of stuff misrallied. Yeah, he was definitely going for a contain there. Had a bunch of stuff misrallied. Has lost all sorts of overlords. Two kills from uh, that Corsair, plus a bunch else. So he's deep in the red. Is just going to have to use practically an entire round of larva and minerals to rebuild that overlord count. That's going to allow Adame to just sneak right back into this match. He's plopping a bunch of gateways down. Nice play. Very patient play. From Adame, and honestly, just some misclicks, I feel like, from Art of Turtle, costing him that, this match. And that, honestly, I'm going to chalk it up. That's Art of Turtle's a better player than that. Uh, might even been some lag, but that's more like a diggity play uh, when I'm playing. <laughs> it is an Art of Turtle play. 1 o'clock position. Or, uh, 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. Yeah, we'll say 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock base is being taken. Probe being threatening to these Zerglings, so they are scurrying back into the night. No, they're just going there <laughs> to try to disrupt any, any sort of third that might be being taken. Critically, though, Art of Turtle, with the units he does have on the ground, still could provide a, a large contain. This is six cannons on the front, which are static defenses. Tracy's Armory. Check it out. Tracy's. Corsair sneaking back through is going to get additional scouting information. Might be able to get an Overlord. Might be able to get an Overlord. Is not going to hang around to try to do so. That probe was killed in the meantime, but oof, that's a big, this is a big scout. Seeing that 12 o'clock base is going to give him a lot of response. 
overlords with speed are a little harder to, to take down. So now what, now, now, what does Adame do? He needs to be very, very careful because Lurker Tech is just finishing and he is at high risk of getting Lurker contained. And he does, yes, he has Psy Storm, but he does not have a large Dragoon count. Arter Turtle actually opting to go ahead and retreat though. So, okay, he's retreating to, wow. So retreating and building a slew of Lurkers. What is it? That's 10 Lurkers at quick count. And if he staggers them out here, it is with this low Dragoon count running into this at this stage of the match, it's going to be very difficult for Adame to break out of this. Even with everything that happened there in the mid game, even with the low drone count sitting just at 31 at this stage. And the critical thing is, is when you are Lurker contained like that, that just lets Zerg do whatever he wants. Take map control, uh, build a lot of drones, just make it an even more brutal. It's just, it comes down to the spread. How good is the spread going to be? Also, no observatory, I don't think. In fact, oh, sorry, there is an observatory. No observer, though, just yet out in the field to really engage this. So only five Dragoons, and it's going to be a while, I think, before Adame has a sizable enough attack force that he can really position well enough to push against the Circuit Contain, and that is... Oof, I missed it. Didn't miss it fully, though. So Brownie points to me. Missed a drop. Two drops, catching that one. Oh, my goodness. So as I'm saying, like, Adame's in trouble, just kidding, he managed to sneak a shuttle out with some Dark Templar and obliterate some drones. Oh, that's huge. And this is going to be... Okay, is he going to use this opportunity? No. Okay. Is he going to get another drop? Okay, single Hydra sneaking up in the right-hand corner. Now Adame with a 45 supply lead. So the question is kind of like, okay, what's strong? This becomes one of those theoretical matches almost, where it's like, what's stronger, this or that? So what's stronger, a Lurker Contain or High Templar Harass uh, as it's going across that back edge? Looks like he's swinging, wants to get another big storm off. This is slow speed, but you can see how difficult it is to break this Contain. He was initially shifting out and losing it. Hydralisks on top of that, they're going to take out that shuttle. I, hmm... Kind of curious where to call this. This is a good. This is a decent attack force. No level one weapons just yet. Level one weapons just finishing. But this is a lot of lurkers, and this is going to be a pretty sizable spread. I think those high templar were these high templar that were here. I missed them getting scooped up. So it's going to be a while before he has anything to clear this, and that is going to allow Arter. That's one thing about Zerg is when you have the larva, when you have the expansions to do it and you have the minerals, you can get your drone count back up pretty rapidly. So yes, that was a good storm drop, but will it be enough? Now moving out, slowly storming this. Harder Turtle, yeah, pushing back into it. And this is, yeah, it's so frustrating for Protoss to try to push into this a bit at a time. And you can see how much damage this is doing, but Harder Turtle doesn't have any backup units, so I think this contain is in fact going to get broken up at significant cost to Adame, though. Oof, just now getting the Hydra in position. I think he caught him in a round of probe creation. So nice timing for Adame to break that front before reinforcements were able to really push through. And that is going to open up the map, and he might be able to seize map control here. This is a... Let's see if he can get a significant amount of Hydralisks to deal with this attack. He, <laughs> this might actually end up costing him a natural expansion. Corsair scouting up, trying to see what the action is. Big round of Hydralisks being built. This is a lot of... Dragoons. Unfortunately, it's going to be Dragoons and Lurkers versus Hydra Lurk. With only level 1 weapons upgrade, I don't know that that's the best fight. But if he can engage it piecemeal exactly like this, this is exactly how he wants to engage it. Hydra is trying to get on top of the Lurkers. Psy Storm on top of the Hydralisks, but he is going to be able to sneak out with a single Observer and clean up the Lurkers on the front. High Templar in the front going to get picked off as well, and that Observer once again exposed, not using that as bait, actually. So now Art of Turtle has no defenses on his natural expansion as the Dragoons are flooding in, starting to hammer this hatchery. That hatchery, I think, might, the Sim City is what's saving Art of Turtle right now. So maybe he can get some pincer reinforcements. It looks like he does have Hydralis coming back from the opposite end. Some Zealots moving in. Still an Observer to deal with those Lurkers. So it, this attack still going to continue with this second round of Dragoons reinforcing. Art of Turtle in desperate trouble here. This could be the match. Observer picked off, but no Lurkers underneath to, to have it make a difference. And we'll see if there's a Reinforcement Observer momentarily. Might lose his Hydralis Den, which is going to cap his ability to provide that, that critical Tier 1.5. And yeah, that's going to be GG. Nice play from Adame. 
Some beautiful size storm, some beautiful movement, able to cap him the game. And woof, hope you guys enjoyed it. Whew, thank you guys for listening. <laughs>